This is Fitness Blender's Exercise Ball Ab Workout. For this ab workout, we're going to be going through two rounds of six different exercises. The only equipment you're going to be needing is an exercise ball. Let's go ahead and get started with round number one. Our first exercise is a physio ball pike. This is a particularly hard exercise that requires a lot of flexibility through those hamstrings. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Get those feet up on top of that ball so you're out in a plank position. And then you're going to draw those feet in by shoving those hips up straight over top of those shoulders, using those abdominal muscles and those hip flexors to pull up into that motion. Now keep in mind, because you're using a ball for this motion, it's going to be very, very unstable. So you want to make sure you move really, really slowly and in really, really controlled motions. Never try to throw your hips up over top of those shoulders. You want just a nice, slow, tight squeeze. You might not be able to get them all the way up at the very beginning, but you can slowly build into it as you need to. Just make sure you keep that balance. And that's it. Go ahead and let it relax. The next one is a physio ball crunch. This is a really awkward looking motion, but it's actually really, really good for the upper and lower abs. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So you want to start by placing that ball on that middle of that back. Slowly wrap down around it. So try to drop those hips and drop that chest. Wrap over that ball as best you can. Then nice and slow, crunch up with that chest, rolling forward at the same time as lifting those hips up as high as you can so you get a nice tight squeeze on those upper abs and those lower abs at the same time. Now like I said, I know this is a really awkward motion, you're probably not going to want to be doing this one uh, other than just in your home, but this is a really, really fantastic exercise for getting a full range of motion through those abs as well as getting the upper and lower simultaneously. Now just keep focusing on that motion, really trying to fold those hips and shoulders together at the top each time. Nice and slow, wrapping out over the ball as much as you can as you drop back down. Just try to keep those abs tensed at least a little bit through that entire range of motion. So as you lay out, don't let them completely relax. All right, we're almost done. Just a few more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. And we're going to move on to the next one, which is the physio ball ab rollouts. Now this one's another pretty challenging exercise. It requires quite a bit of core strength. Go ahead and get ready and begin. So starting in a plank position off of that ball, you want those arms tucked underneath you so your hands are right about that neck level and those elbows are tucked back to that rib cage. Now you want all that weight in those toes and on those forearms that are resting on that ball. Now the further you have that ball out towards those wrists, when you start with those hands underneath your body, the harder it's going to be as you press those arms out away from you. The further that ball is back towards those elbows, the easier it's going to be. So just place it wherever you need to as far as your own strength level. We're almost done. It's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, the next one is an exercise ball jackknife crunch. Now this is uh, similar to a typical jackknife crunch. You're just using a ball to pass back and forth. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So you're going to start by squeezing your ankles on the sides of that ball, placing those hands up over your head just like you would for a regular jackknife crunch. And then you're going to crunch up, legs come straight up above those hips, crunch up towards those legs, actually transfer that ball from your feet to your hands, then drop that ball back behind your head, crunch back up, same position, but this time placing that ball back between those feet. You're just going to cross back and forth each time. Now you can do this with a physio ball, uh, makes it just a little bit harder than doing the regular crunch by itself. Or if you want to really make it more difficult, you can actually swap the physio ball for using something like a medicine ball if you really want to uh, challenge those abdominal muscles. Anyway, just got a few more repetitions to go through. Remember this whole time you're doing these crossover crunches, that lower back should be flat against that mat. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. And next one is a physio ball plank with a rotation kick. Now, this is a pretty hard one for overall balance, so definitely move slowly. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting up in a almost a push-up position, ankles up on top of that ball. You're going to tuck one knee underneath you and then kick it out to the opposite side as far as you can, trying to get those hips to rotate, but trying to keep those shoulders flat across the ground. Then draw that leg back in, place it right back up on the ball, and do the same thing with the opposite leg. Just a nice slow tuck with that knee, and then kick that leg underneath you as far to the side as you can. 
Just keep that motion going as quickly as possible, as quickly as is comfortable and you can control. One more on the other side and let it relax. All right, our next exercise is the physio ball hyperextension crunch. And this one does a really good job of challenging that full range of motion on those abs. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Now you need to start by anchoring those feet down somehow. I'm using dumbbells here to hold my feet down. You can slip your feet behind a couch or underneath a piece of equipment if you're at the gym doing this. Now whatever you use, you wanna make sure that it's heavy enough that you're not gonna tip over backwards if you start really leaning into this crunch. Now what you wanna do is you wanna place that ball on that lower back or all the way down onto those hips. The further down you place it on those hips, the harder it's gonna get. And you wanna wrap over that ball as far as you can, so really let that chest stretch down over that ball, and then crunch up as high as you possibly can each time. Now the key with this one is not letting those hips move and hinging through that back, not letting those hips raise or lower. So all that motion comes from just those abdominal muscles. Like I said, if you wanna make this a lot more difficult, just start rolling that ball further down underneath those hips or even out onto those upper thighs. It makes that core have to work a heck of a lot harder. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. And as the end of round number one, we're gonna go ahead and start right back into round number two. All right, we're starting right back in with that physio ball pike. Remember, starting out in that plank position, ankles up on top of the ball. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, pull those feet in really nice and tight using those abdominal muscles and hip flexors to shove those hips straight up over top of your shoulders. Try to get a nice straight line from your hip all the way down to your wrist as best you can. Just keep that motion going, nice, smooth, controlled motion. Remember, this is really difficult for that balance, so really take your time. And just two more repetitions. And here's your last one right here. Nice, tight squeeze. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one, the physio ball crunch. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. We'll replace that ball on that middle back, wrap those hips and shoulders down over top of it as best you can, and then fold them up nice and high, bring those shoulders and hips towards each other, getting a really nice tight squeeze, really nice tight crunch on those abdominal muscles, upper and lower activating all at the same time. Really focus on trying to tilt those hips back towards you as you crunch up. Almost done, just a few more repetitions. Just keep that motion under control. Nice tight squeeze every single time. Two more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let that one completely relax. Next, we're gonna flip you over, facing down for that physio ball ab rollout. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting out in that plank position up on those toes, all that weight in those forearms, nice and slow. Extend those arms out as straight as you can, then tuck them right back underneath you. Remember, by setting that ball up closer to those wrists, it's gonna make it much more difficult. By setting that ball closer down towards those elbows, it'll make it a lot easier. Just keep going. Keep those abs nice and tight. You wanna actually kinda of roll that chest forward just a little bit. You don't wanna let that back dip at all, otherwise you're gonna hurt that back. One more. And let it relax. All right, moving on to that next one. This is the jackknife crunch, just using that exercise ball this time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Start by squeezing that ball in between those ankles, feet just a little bit off the ground, then slowly bring those legs straight up over top of those hips as you crunch up and reach up towards that ball, transfer that ball into those hands. Then slowly drop back down with that ball in those hands, tap it to the ground barely, then nice and slow back up, transferring it back into those feet with a nice tight crunch, then slowly dropping back down again, this time with that ball in those feet. And just keep crossing it back and forth, 
Nice, slow, controlled motion. Just really concentrate on sucking that belly button in and pressing that lower back flat against that mat the entire time. You always want that back flat on that ground. You don't want to have any space underneath it. Otherwise, you need to drop that ball. Get used to doing this without the ball first. All right, this is your last motion back over those feet. And drop it from there nice and slow. And let it relax. All right, next one is that physio ball plank with rotation kick. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember tucking that knee nice and close up underneath you, kicking it out to the side underneath that body, and then slowly pulling it back underneath and then back to the ball. Now just keep watching that motion, keeping those abs nice and tight. Every time you place that foot back on top of that ball, make sure you're setting it back right where it was. Otherwise, you're going to start tending to creep that ball back up underneath your body so it's more onto those shins. So just take your time, really make sure that you're placing that foot exactly where it needs to be. Almost done. One more to the other side and let it relax. All right, moving on to the physio ball hyperextension crunch. Remember, grab something to hold those feet down with. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Anchor those feet. Place that ball underneath those hips as far as you can, as far as you can control. Then wrap down over that ball. Really let that chest stretch, let those abdominal muscles stretch. And then crunch up as high and as tight as you can without letting those hips move. You want them completely stationary. You don't want that ball rolling forward or backward at all. You want those abs doing all that range of motion, all that work. Remember, the further you bring that ball underneath those hips and underneath those thighs, the harder it's going to be for this motion. The further you set that ball out underneath that lower back and upper back, it's going to make it much more easy. Now, another thing to be mindful of while you're doing this motion is as you crunch up, you don't want to actually shove those shoulders straight up towards the ceiling. You actually want to crunch up and then forward towards those hips like you're trying to roll over towards those hips. It gives you a lot tighter squeeze, a lot more range of motion and also helps get uh, those lower abs engaged just as much as the upper abs. There you go, go ahead and let it relax. You just finished Fitness Blender's Exercise Ball Ab Workout. Now go to the website to find out how many calories it burns. Don't forget, help us spread the word by sharing our free workout videos with your family and friends.